Hey, I um, was spending so much time. Do you realize you can't see here? Okay, so I spent so much time trying to figure out um, if I'm doing this right, and I totally forgot what time it was. So, um, that being said, bear with me. Technical advice, technical problems here. Oh, here, that's the problem right there. I spent so much time phone. trying to figure out um, if I'm doing this. Okay, let's try this again. So, um, thank you for being patient with me. It's craziness around here. Um, so I usually use my lap, my iPad, but tonight we're gonna use the phone and see how this works. Um, so I totally was like getting everything ready, checking everything and thinking, oh my gosh, I don't have any makeup on and I look like dirt, but you know, that's not the whole idea of yoga, right? The whole idea of yoga is to be on the inside and forget what's happening on the outside. So that being said, and I'm babbling, um, thank you for being here. I am here because my greatest intention is to, thank you, Delane, is to, um, is to give you something and to try to create a community and feed your soul a little bit. Teaching these classes, um, it really feeds my soul. So I hope you're getting fed as much as I am. So that being said, we're gonna do a 45 minute to an hour foundational flow. It's a pretty basic flow. There's nothing, nothing crazy tricks in there. Um, we will be working a little bit more on our inner thighs and our glutes. So um, work with that. If you think you need a block, um, you can grab a tin can. Maybe that would help as a block, as a prop, or even a sturdy book. Um, I hope everybody's doing okay. It, this has been some really, really crazy times. Um, and if you stick with me through this, I'll stick with you. And we will get through this and we'll come on to the other side. So if everybody could just find a comfortable place to sit. It doesn't matter how you sit. And if you choose to, you can lay on your back. But just find something comfortable. Okay? So give you a moment. And if you're already there, just stop. Stop whatever you're doing, whatever you're thinking, whatever list that you've been making or anything that you think you should be doing instead of being here. Because right now the most important person is you and it's very important that you take care of yourself. So to do that, you're showing up here and that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So thank yourself for being here. So if you can just close your eyes and feel your sits bones beneath you and feel that connection between you and the earth. Maybe you wiggle a little bit and feel yourself grounding into the earth or the floor. I want you to think about integrity with your spine. So it's something we talked about the other day in our tennis court class um, was integrity. And what does integrity mean in your posture? So thinking about starting the posture, if you think you know, you're know you sagging like this and you start with your shoulders, let's think about starting our integrity starting at our tailbone. So straightening, building your foundation up with integrity. So the basis of who you are, what you're doing in your life is starting at the bottom. So I want you to sit up as tall as you can. So feel your sits bones connected to the floor. Feel each vertebrae stacking on top of the other one. Sitting up as tall as you can. And then lifting up your shoulders, maybe breaking them a little broader by bringing the shoulders together on your back. Lifting the crown of your head. And then let's focus on our breathing. Can you take a nice deep inhale? And when you exhale, can you completely exhale to the point where you just feel like you're pushing all the air out of your lungs, out of your belly, out of your entire body? And then at the end of the exhale, let's take a nice deep breath in on the count of six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it, please, for four, three, two, one. And then let's exhale, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Again, inhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, no, hold it, sorry. Three, two, one. And then exhale nice and slow through your nostrils, out of your nose. And then when you're ready, find a nice long inhale, the longest inhale that you can fill your whole chest up. Feeling your lungs expand, drawing your shoulder blades together, feeling your chest open up. And then hold it at the top for as long as you can, at least for a four count, maybe five. And then slowly, slowly, slowly letting that air come out. Beautiful. Hello, Jenny. Hi, Teresa. Nice to see you, Ivy. Um, and then just focusing on that breath. See if you can get your lungs as full as you possibly can. And I want you to think about your day. Can you think of few things that were exceptional today, no matter how minor they were? Maybe the fact that you got out of bed. Maybe the fact that you put on socks today or you changed clothes. You know, what are the minor victories that you had today? That you answered a phone call or you checked your email. However small of a victory it could be. And let's focus on those victories and not the failures. Maybe you didn't mean to call somebody, but there's always tomorrow. So let's focus on the victories that we have. And let's get started with our practice. So from here, I'd like you to come on to all fours. And start with shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Find a few cows and cats. On your own breath, so maybe you exhale on your cow or maybe you inhale, you do you. And just continue following that movement. And maybe you make it a little different. Maybe you change a little bit of the posture. Maybe you wiggle your tail or, you know, I like that Chinese dragon thing where you kind of lead with your shoulders and follow with your spine and then your hips drift along. So find whatever works for you to loosen up your spine, letting go, softening your shoulders, your neck, softening the entire length of your spine, your tailbone. Lovely. Beautiful. And then from here, we're going to come into Burdock. I love Burdock. So you're going to extend your right arm forward towards me like you're going to shake my hand. Keeping your shoulders nice and level, extend your left foot long behind you. Reaching forward, reaching back. Beautiful, pausing here. Keep reaching forward, reach the toes back and a nice long cross lateral stretch. If you like, you can reach back and grab the top of your foot, opening up your right shoulder, feeling it across the top of your thigh. Again, find the integrity in your core, nice and strong. Beautiful. From here, reach the right arm forward, the left foot back. Bring your right hand to the floor. Sweep your right foot out to the side. Place it on the floor. Lifting yourself up. We're going to reach our arms up towards the sky. First, we're going to take your left hand. You're going to slide it on your left foot, thigh, sorry. Reach your right arm up towards the sky. Imagine you're finding that stretch from the knee to the hip, from the hip to the armpits, and from the armpit to the fingertips. Beautiful. Now one more beautiful breath as you open up your chest. And then from here, you're going to turn. You're going to bring the right hand towards the floor and you're going to sweep the left arm up towards the sky. And keep breathing. Beautiful. And we'll rise back up. Reach both arms up towards the sky. Bring them down to the floor. Plant your knee back on the floor. Find a few cows and cats before we progress to the next one. From here, we're going to extend your left arm forward. Extend your right foot back behind you, right into the plant. So you really want to reach forward. And maybe you can feel your fingertips opening up. 
as you're reaching forward. I like to sometimes think about pressing my thumb forward and dropping my pinky down towards the floor and getting a nice stretch across the front of my arm. Keep extending that leg long back behind you. Beautiful. If you like, you can reach back and grab the top of the foot. So you're pressing the foot into the hand to feel that stretching across the front of your thigh, opening up your shoulder, softening your neck. Beautiful. Now I'm going to sweep my left arm forward, bring my hand to the floor, I'm going to sweep my right foot out towards the side, planting the entire length of my foot, side of my foot into the thing, reaching my left arm up towards the sky, and I'm going to slide and reach over to the side. Coming to center, I'm going to place my left hand on the floor, right arm reaches up and over. You can find a beautiful arch lifting up my chest. Beautiful. Come back to center. Reach both arms up towards the sky. And then exhale both hands to the floor. Knees come to the floor to match. Beautiful. From here, we're going to curl your toes. Lift your hips. Press into your first downward dog. Maybe walk out that dog, one foot in the other. Again, find that integrity in your core. So lifting your tailbone up, pressing into the palms of your hand, drawing your head, away, your head away from the floor. Beautiful. Coming up on your tippy toes, bend your knees, walk to the front of the mat. Exhale, let it all go in this nice, beautiful forward fold. Inhale, we're going to root to rise. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Find that breath. Again, think of that one positive victory that you had today and focus on it. Beautiful. Now we're going to do another side opener. So you're going to take your right foot behind you like you're going to do a curtsy. And you're going to reach your right arm out towards the sky, reaching up and over. I always think of Degas as a dancer. Beautiful. And then come back to center. We're going to switch. Left foot behind. Left arm reaches up and over. Opening up the side body some more. And one more time on each side. Up and over. And the other side. Beautiful. Find your mountain. Find your breath. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to a halfway lift. Draw the crown of your head forward. And you know this is one of my favorite poses. Lengthening out your spine, creasing from the hips. Exhale, forward fold. Let's find a gauche style forward fold here. So you're going to take your fingertips and you're going to slide them down the backs of your thighs. So your middle finger goes along the back of your thigh, along your Achilles heel, wrap your pinky and your thumb around. Bring your belly to your thighs and your chest to your knees and let your head get heavy. If you feel okay, you can think about drawing the elbows together. And as you draw your elbows together behind your calves, can you feel that opening against the back of your back of your shoulders right here? I think some of that tension go from huddling over our phones or huddling over our computers. Or maybe just huddling up because we feel safer that way. Beautiful. Release. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, let's root to rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, let's reach the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Once your fingertips touch the floor, can I have you step your left foot back? Drop the left knee to the floor, flatten out the foot. Find a nice lunge here, drawing your hips forward, feeling that stretch across the front of your thigh, lifting up your chest. Pause, find your breath. 
Lifting up your chest, being proud. From here, we're just going to roll back. Drawing your right toes towards your nose. Flexing the foot. See if you can keep your hips nice and level. Draw your chest forward. There you go. From here, we're going to come forward. Curl the toes. Step the right foot back. Drop, come to your knees for this one. We're just going to bend the elbows. Eye the elbow forward. Bring yourself all the way down the floor. Knees, chest, chin. Find your cobra. Press the tops of your feet into the earth. Press your hips. Lift your knees. Lift your thighs. And then find that cobra. Remember, we're not using our arms. We're just using our core body strength to lift us up and draw you forward. Beautiful. And then coming through tabletop or push-up, we'll meet in downward dog. Let's hike a nice breath here. Let's all breathe in together. Nice community breath. Breathe it in and exhale. I can hear you. From here, we're going to just step our feet forward. Coming into that forward fold again. Exhale, letting it all go. Can you bring your belly and your chest to your thighs and your knees? Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, inhale, let's rise all the way up to the moon. Bring your hands to the heart center. We're going to interlace our fingers. We're going to reach the palms of our hands up towards the sky. See if you can keep your biceps close to your ear. Lifting up your chest, pressing into your heels. Maybe you feel this on your back. Maybe you think about bringing the palms a little bit behind your head. Keep pressing up. And then soften, hands to the heart. Inhale, let's reach those arms up and forward fold. This time you're going to step your other foot back. You're going to step your right foot back. Right foot comes to the flat and the foot. Knee comes to the floor. Bring your chest and your heart, everything forward. Again, finding that stretch across the front. Beautiful. Pause a moment, scanning your body from your toes to your hip. And then from your hip to your other toes. Think of lifting up your heart and noticing what's happening in your legs. Just roll back. Half Hanuman, half. So drawing the toes towards your nose, can you keep the nice leg and long and feel that stretch? And squaring off your hips, draw your chest forward. Beautiful. From here again, we're going to draw ourselves forward, curl on the toes, step back. Coming into plank, integrity. Nice and strong, pressing into all ten finger pads. Can you imagine there's a little blueberry underneath the palm of your hand? Come to our knees, come all the way down to the floor. Find your cobra or your upper dog, what serves you. And then exhale, we'll meet in downward dog. From this downward dog, beautiful. Sorry, keeping the round dog. Let's find our community breath. So everybody take a nice big inhale. And as if you want everybody to hear you, let's hear you exhale. Lovely. So from here, we're going to extend your right leg up towards the sky. Drawing forward, you're going to step the right foot forward. And we're going to rise up to a high lunge. Beautiful. Feeling this in your legs. Yeah, beautiful. Bring your hands to heart center. We're going to fold forward. We're going to do a prayer twist. You're going to bring your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Pressing the hands together, stay in that pose. Pressing the hands together, I want you to think about bringing your hands to the sternum. And can you stack your shoulders, find a nice twist, and let that twist start at your tailbone. So the entire length of your spine is rotating. Beautiful. And then rise back up, and finding that high lunge. Bring your hands to your heart, we're going to turn all ten toes towards the center. 
We're gonna reach the arms out nice and wide. We're gonna find a nice forward fold. So lifting up your heart, lifting up your chest. And just find a nice halfway lift. So we're gonna fold halfway, flat back. Imagine that there's wind pressing into the palms of your hand. Draw your shoulder blades together. Beautiful, you're heavy in your heels, light on your toes. And then exhale, fold. Here, can you place your right hand on the floor and sweep your left arm up towards the sky? Adding a nice twist here. And then coming back to center, extend the right arm up towards the sky. Beautiful, hands coming in. From here, you're gonna walk your hands to your left foot. Place your feet in that high lunge, the crescent lunge, as you rise up. Relax your shoulders. Nice and strong, you've got this. You are an amazing woman, an individual. Hands to your heart. Again, let's find that prayer twist. Pressing your hands into each other, stacking the shoulders, Nice and strong. Beautiful. Coming to center, we're gonna turn the feet, come back into that center fold. So both, all 10 toes facing the same directions. Make your heels a little bit wider than your toes. Pressing into your heels a little bit, lift the toes up. Beautiful. Now you're gonna take your right hand, you're gonna walk it to the outside of your left calf, and then you're gonna reach that left arm up towards the sky. So that same twist we were doing before, but now we're using a little bit of our legs to draw our shoulders forward. And coming to center. Again, left hand gonna reach, grab the right wrist, right calf, reach the right arm up towards the sky. Beautiful. Coming to center, you're gonna walk your fingertips towards the front of the mat. Curl your toes, step your foot back. Find plank position. Slowly lower yourself all the way down the floor. Find your cobra or your upper dog, whatever feeds you tonight. So from here, we're gonna start in the downward dog. Let's find a nice inhale together. And let's hear you exhale. Beautiful, one more time. Big, deep inhale, let's all do it together. Maybe we can hear each other. And then exhale, let it all go. From here, you're gonna extend the right leg up towards the sky. Slow and powerful, you're gonna step it forward, coming into warrior two. So check your feet. This time we're going to stay here. I want you to stay down with your hands on the floor, feet in warrior two position. Some of y'all hate this, but, and you're gazing right down at your second toe. We're going to rise, but we're going to rise on an eight count today. So using that core, the integrity of your core. So make yourself nice and long from the hip to the crown of the head. And can you slowly rise up, pressing into both feet equally. Ready? Eight, seven, six, Five, again, engaging the thighs, core, three, two, and one. We're at two. Beautiful. Does that feel good? So bending into that front right knee, nice and strong. So making sure that the knee is above the ankle. And like Thelma and Louise, you want the toe and the knee to go the same direction. Nothing about opening up those thighs. Finding strength, pressing into the outside of your left foot. Arms are strong and fierce. Lifting up the chest. Can you feel the integrity from here? Gaze going towards your right fingertips. Lovely. Just breathe. Turn your right palm up and let's sweep up into our peaceful warrior. So maybe just slide your left hand down your thigh. Or maybe you reach back and try to find the bind and opening up the chest. Fingertips are reaching up as far as you can and then maybe you can reach back. If you're reaching too far back, are you keeping the integrity of your spine? That's the question. Beautiful. From here, we're gonna come back to our warrior two. 
We're going to find an easy side angle. So just bring the right elbow to the top of the right thigh and sweep your left arm up towards the sky. And finding integrity in your core. Nice and long from the tailbone to the crown of the head. Not dumping too much into that elbow. Ten toes together, and then we're going to toe heel till the heels come in and the toes go out. We're going to come into horse down. So from here, we're going to do a little bit of work. Lovely. So drop the hips as far as you can, keeping the knees nice and wide. Lifting yourself up nice and tall. Maybe you need to change the positioning of your feet. Drop those hips just a little bit more. Beautiful. Lovely. Lifting your chest up. Got it. From here, we're going to lift up our heels. So I always want you to lift up the right heel five times. Ready? Five, four, three, two, and one. Other side. Five, four, three, two, and one. From here, we're just going to straighten the legs, turn the feet, and find a nice forward fold. Maybe you sway to loosen up your legs, whatever feels good for you. Yogi's choice, you all know what you're doing. And then we're gonna extend our arms out and we're gonna rise back up. From here we're gonna come into warrior two facing the other direction. So turn your left foot forward, find that strength and power. Beautiful. Again, knee over ankle, knee going the same direction as the second toe. Legs are nice and long and fierce. You're pressing to the outside of your left foot. Arms are reaching out. You're nice and tall and strong. Beautiful. Now, can we find the peaceful warrior? Turn the left palm up. Reach all the way up towards the sky. Again, sliding the right hand down along the thigh is beautiful. Or finding the spine. But again, let's think about this. If you're reaching up, and then reaching back. Let's find the integrity of the core. We don't want to be like squishing down on the core. We want to be lifting up on this whole right side as well. Cheating a little bit on my leg there. And let's come back to warrior two. We're going to find that side angle again. Reaching the arm up toward the sky. And now I want you to pretend as if someone's putting a little bit of pressure into your right hand and drawing your chest open. And maybe your gaze looks up and you're opening up your chest. Can you feel this in your arms, your shoulders, your back? Beautiful, finding warrior two. Turn the palm up, finding a peaceful warrior. Lovely. From here, taking another breath, coming back to warrior two. You're gonna straighten the front leg. We're gonna find a reverse triangle, Trikonasana. Reaching those fingertips up towards the sky, just sliding up. Again, integrity of the core, lifting up, up, up. From here, bringing your arms parallel with the horizon. I want you to think that there's a golden egg right there. You guys can't see it because it's right outside the screen. But you're gonna reach forward so you just can't reach anymore. Feel this soul stretch in your side body. Drop your right hand to the floor, reach the right arm up towards the sky. Again, like that soft breath of wind is opening up your chest. Doesn't matter if you touch the floor. Keeping the arms nice and parallel here. Lifting the gaze, opening up the heart. And then slowly let's rise back up. Drop the knee again, find your reverse warrior. Let's reverse soft, this is our safe place tonight. And from here we're gonna come into a side angle, but we're gonna make it a little bit harder. I'm gonna ask you to take your fingertips, I'm gonna slide them on the outside of your calf, Reach your left arm up towards the sky. You can keep your right arm straight up towards the sky or you can reach it long towards behind you. Don't forget to breathe. Lovely. Beautiful. From here we're gonna rise back up with strength. Straighten both legs, turn all 10 toes towards each other. Heel toe again. Dropping those hips. 
down as we come into our horse stance. Lovely. You know how hard it is to teach without closing my eyes? It's a challenge, but thank you. Okay, so we're here. We're going to lift both feet 10 times. So pressing into the toes. Let's get her done. Ready? 10, 9. Can you do it without moving your upper body at all? So the only thing that's lifting up are your knees. Hope someone's counting. Five, four, three, two, and one. And we're going to turn the toes and find that forward fold. From here, we're going to come into a skandasana. So, bear with me. I have a video I'm going to send out, send out to you all from um, a woman I follow, Trina Altman. You're going to squat down on your left foot. You're going to extend your right foot straight out from your hip. Okay. So, if you want to sit on something, a pillow cushion or something like that, go right ahead. So, flexing your foot, I want you to draw your toes towards your shoulder. Got it. My mouth isn't quite ready yet. Go ahead. Feel whatever you need to do that. And if you can, you keep your hands on the floor. That's totally acceptable. Totally acceptable. If you can, we're going to bring your hands to your heart. I'm going to try this again. Hands to the heart. Sorry. Okay, hands to the heart. If you like, you can extend the right hand towards the toes. And if you're feeling really sassy, you can gaze towards those fingertips. Got it. Beautiful. Hands to the heart. Down towards the floor. Find a nice stretch here. Maybe you rotate the right toes forward and back, left and right, before you make your way onto that side. So the key here is to turn the right toes out to the corner a little bit. I need a shorter mat. You know I have an extra long mat, so this is kind of a challenge. So bear with me. And I'm being recorded. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? So the left foot. Again, my hip and my heel are straight out from my, from my, my femur is coming straight out from my hip. Flex the foot. Toes come towards my shoulder. You can stay sitting on the block. You can keep your hands on the floor, whatever works for you. You can bring your hands to your heart. Go ahead and take that challenge. Next challenge is to extend the fingertips towards the foot. Still sitting up nice and tall. If I like, you can turn your gaze towards the fingertips. Beautiful, one more breath. And then exhale, we're gonna come to center. Turn all 10 toes towards the front again. Find that forward fold, and from here, I Invite you to do whatever feels good to you. Bending into one knee, then the other. You know, you're a yogi, you know what you like. So do whatever feels good to you right now. Find a breath, find a moment to reset to yourself. Beautiful. From here, lifting up your hips. Can you interlace your fingers behind your back? And then reach those fingers up toward the sky. Draw your shoulder blades away from your ears. Lifting up, can you come to standing? And once you rise, can you drop your fingernails down toward your finger, knuckles down towards the floor, lifting up your chest when your gaze comes up? Release the arms. Find warrior two facing the front foot, the right foot. Beautiful, find this and draw on warrior two. Again, turn the right palm up, find your peaceful warrior. And then find warrior two again, straighten the front leg. Reach the right arm up towards the sky. Reverse triangle. Feel the power coming from your feet, reaching up towards the sun. Beautiful. Bring your arms parallel. You can notch the hip back just a little bit. I want you to reach like you're reaching for that thing that you really, really want. And then drop the right hand down. Left arm reaches up. 
Okay, and keep the arms nice and straight in one long line. Keep your shoulders stacked on top of each other. Press your pelvis forward just a little bit. And don't forget to breathe. Let's rise back up. Find warrior two. We're gonna find that side angle again. So you're gonna take your right hand and you're slide it along the outside of your right calf. Fingertips touch the floor, reach the left arm straight up towards the sky. You can stay right here, or you can reach this arm towards the front to the street. Nice long body, nice long line. And don't forget to breathe. From here, you're just gonna bring both hands down towards the floor, step back, and go through your flow, your reset. Maybe you go to a child's pose, maybe you drink water. Do whatever serves you at this time. Practice is all about you. I'm here to provide, but you're the one that's taking the gift. And thank you. So meeting downward dog, find a nice, long, beautiful inhale. And exhale nice and loud, let's hear ya. Lovely. From here, walk your feet up to the top of your mat, coming into a forward fold. Okay, walk your feet up to the top of the mat, we're in that forward fold, letting it all go. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, let's reach, rise all the way up towards the sky. And bring your hands to your heart. So release everything, just shake it all out, let it all go. And just feel your body. Enter your body, be all of it together. Okay? So I want you to press into your feet and you need kind of like, wherever they land is how they land. I want you to think about integrity again. So when I think of integrity, I have this little concept in my mind that there's an I beam and it's across my shoulders, down my spine, and then across my hips. So I think about being nice and tall and having integrity in my spine. And I kind of feel sometimes when I sit up and I stand nice and tall, it's not just be having the integrity in my body, but I feel like prouder of everything and who I am. Um, so, there's that. So anyway, um, I just want you to close your eyes and I want you to feel your feet connected to the floor. Feel the earth beneath your heels. Maybe you roll out into the outside of your feet, stretching your ankles, and then coming back towards the center. Feeling the balls of your feet and the heels. Maybe you rock back and forth. And then thinking of making that tall line of integrity from your heels and you're bringing your knees and your hips in line with your heels. Shifting the kneecaps up, lifting the thighs, drawing your shoulders in line, staying nice and strong. Beautiful. Find a breath. Now, doesn't matter what you do with your arms, you can do whatever works for you. I want you to put all your weight into your left foot. And maybe you just your toes, your right toes are on the floor. But from here, can you lift your right knee like you're going to take a very large step. So the knee is straight out in front of you. Let's flex the foot. Maybe you make a few circles. So if you feel wobbly, grab a chair. Find the wall. So from here, we're going to open up the thigh. Again. Flexing that foot, finding the balance. Quieting your mind. Is there one thing that you can look at? You don't need to look at the screen right now. Just look at anything. And then lifting up, we're gonna bring that right foot anywhere to your right leg. If it comes to your knee, don't press hard. Press softly. Sorry, he's running to sleep. But don't use your hands if you can. So for me, my foot wants to come more towards the front of my thigh, kind of wrap my toes around the front, but I want to still think about opening up my hip. So I'm drawing my knee back, 
and I'm still standing nice and tall on my left foot. And then you can do whatever you wish with your arms. Whatever pleases you. And just like a tree in the forest, not one of us are the same. Everyone has their own version of tree. That's what makes us so unique and amazing and beautiful. When we go through our yoga poses, we all have a different skeleton, different history of life, different turning points. So we all have our own version of tree. And when you look at the forest, you don't see and judge one tree over the other. It just is. Draw the right knee forward, lifting it up. And we're just going to set it down. And just kind of sway your hips, softening a little bit. I'm going to come to the other side. So don't go into this with any preconceived notion of what your tree is going to look like, please. Just let it naturally come. And don't use your arms if you can. I know I did that. I'm panicking here in front of you guys. I love you all. But anyway, so all of our weight is in our right foot. And you lift up the left leg. So maybe just the toes come to the floor. And standing nice and tall. I'm going to lift, we're going to lift our left knee up. And we can maybe rotate the ankle. Alright, feeling some work that we've done. We're going to open the thigh. Beautiful. Keeping that foot nice and flexed, nice and strong. Can you take a nice inhale and lift up your chest? Feel like you're breathing up. And then you're going to put your left foot anywhere on your leg. If that works for you. And just see if you can open up your inner left thigh. And then do whatever you wish with your arms. How boring would it be if you went to a forest and every tree was the same? I'm sure we've all seen those pine forests where they plant the trees just perfectly. And they grow just perfectly. Imagine if you were just walking through that forest. It all looks the same. Step after step after step. But if all the trees were different and all the trees had different bark and different leaves and different colors of their skin and their leaves were light and some were dark, how much more experience and exciting life would be and is because that's what our forest looks like. You know, let's draw the knee forward and then bring the foot down to the floor. Wiggle out those hips just a little bit. Let's inhale, root to rise. And exhale, forward fold. Step back, find your reset, whatever your reset looks like. Plank. Upper dog or downward, or upper dog or cobra. Meet in downward dog. From this downward dog, can you walk your feet to the top of the mat? Find your garland pose. So feet as wide as what's comfortable for you. Drop the hips down and back. Bring the palms together. If this doesn't work for you, you can sit on a cushion, a blanket, a pillow, whatever you've got handy. Bring your hands to your heart and see if you can press your elbows on the insides of your knees, lifting up your chest. So again, integrity. Where's your integrity with your spine? Again, don't forget to breathe. Relax the belly. Lovely. From here, just come down to your bum. Extend your legs long in front of you. There we go. Hold with me for just one moment. I'm going to tip the phone just a smidge. Maybe. Okay. Okay, so there we go. So here we are. Hi. Um, thank you for... God, you guys are awesome. Um, so thank you for being here. So from here, let's keep going. Getting off track, that's me and my ADD. So we're gonna inhale, reach our arms up towards the sky. And can you reach your arms up? So I want you to think about reaching all the way from your tailbone to the tops of your fingertips and then pressing your heels forward. So you get a nice long line from the hips going to the fingertips and the hips going to the heels. And then exhale, bring your hands to your heart, keeping your back nice and flat. 
Just walk your hands down your thighs to that point where your legs are like, oh, I'm not loving this so much. Keeping the back nice and flat, drawing your chest forward, drawing your gaze forward. And then we're just going to surrender. So maybe you bend your knees. You're going to curl your spine. You're going to reach for the bottom of your feet. So if you need to bend your knees to reach for the bottom of your feet, please do so. And then press the feet into the hands. Roll the spine just like that. Our cats and our cows, we want to find a nice round cat spine. Let your head get heavy. Let your forehead drop down towards your knees. Stretch. Maybe you sway just a little bit. Loosen up those sides of your abdomen. Love it. Beautiful. And then we're going to come up. We're going to rise back up. We're going to bend your knees. We're going to bring them. No yoga is complete without a Navasana. Excuse me. So from here you're going to Press into your sits bones, but I want you to lift your chest up. So draw the shoulder blades together, lifting up your chest, nice long spine, lifting up your calves. Maybe you make your calves parallel with the earth. Beautiful. Nice, like that. And then maybe you release. Maybe you make your boat into a canoe. So lifting up your gaze, lifting up your chest, nice and strong. Pause here and stay here as long as you like. You can always come back up or make it even deeper. You decide what you need. So do what you need. I'm going to do a little adjustment here. And then bring your feet to the floor. There you go. Draw your chest back up. Beautiful. This is not good. Okay, from here, this is what we're going to do. So you can put your hands on the tops of your thighs once we come onto our backs. So that your palms are going to go to the top of your knees with your fingertips going over. And we're going to do a little bit of isometric work here. So slowly you're going to come all the way onto your back. There we go. Bending your knees, you're going to flex your legs like you're sitting on a chair. So your legs are going to get a 90 degree angle. Your hands are going to be at the tops of your thighs, like so. So you're going to press your hands into the tops of your knees, and you're going to press your knees into your hands. So your knees are going to come this way, and your hands are going that way. So bring them on here. We're going to do this for a count of 12. Ready? And 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Only you know how hard you're pushing, so push as hard as you can. Three. Two and one. Keep your legs where they are. You can put your hands on the outsides this time and you're going to press against your hands. Ready? And let's go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. One more time on the tops. Ready? Push as hard as you possibly can. Think about drawing the small of the back to the floor. Relax your shoulders, hands on the knees, and let's do it as hard as you can. Let's give as much effort as you've got. Ready? And go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, check small of your back, mine fail, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Draw your knees in, give them a nice big lovey hug. Beautiful. Love, love, love. You're going to bring your hands, your feet down to the floor, staying in that bridge pose. We're actually going to bring the right ankle to the top of the left knee. Maybe you energetically press the right knee away. You're going to sweep your hands through that little keyhole. Maybe you extend your left leg up towards the sky. Think of drawing the right knee away from you to feel that in your hip flexors. Relax your shoulders. Don't forget to breathe. Can you relax something in your face? Your cheeks, your forehead. Maybe you play around and bend the leg. See how that feels. Get curious with it a little bit.
Beautiful. And then we're going to bring the left foot down to the floor. Keeping the right foot ankle on the top of the left knee, you're just going to rotate your hips to the left. And then maybe turn your gaze towards the right. And can you relax? Relax your hips. Relax your glutes. Relax your thighs. Beautiful. From here, let's just roll back up onto that left foot. Bring the right foot to the floor. Left ankle to the top of the right knee. Again, small back knee to the floor. Reach those hands in, grab the back of the right thigh, extend the right foot up towards the sky. Energetically or with your fingertips, draw the left thigh away from you. Maybe you bend the knee, maybe you get curious and just play with it. And let's just stay here for a few moments, a few breaths. Can you feel your spine melting into the floor? Make sure to keep drawing that left knee away. Draw the top of the right thigh closer to your chest. Feel all the feels that you feel. Maybe rotate the right ankle. Beautiful. Then bend the right knee and bring the right foot to the floor. Keep the left ankle on top of the right knee. And we're going to rotate so you can draw the left foot down towards the floor. Maybe turn your gaze towards the left. Reach your left arm out to the side. Soften. Just be. There's nowhere for you to go. I have nothing for you to do that's so pressing that it's more important than the time that you're giving yourself right now. And then let's rotate, bring that knee back up, both feet to the floor. From here, you're going to bring those feet back to where we originally started, flexing the feet, knees coming up. We're just going to do that one more time, hands on the tops of the knees. Just go through that one more time. So really focusing on core, bringing the small of your back towards the floor. This time, we're going to drop our heels towards our thumbs. But see, make sure you can keep the thighs at a 90 degree angle. So hands at the top of the thighs, flexing the feet. We're going to press into our knees, and our knees are going to press into our hands. Ready? And go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Are your biceps shaking? Come on, press, press, press. 3, give it all you got. 2, and 1. One more time on the inside. Ready? Small back presses to the floor. Belly button presses down towards the back, flexing those feet, keeping that nice, Straight up and down with your legs and press into the outside of your hands. Go and 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Oh, relax. Beautiful. From here, I'm going to show you how it's done and then I'm going to talk you guys through it because it, it's such a beautiful thing. You're going to Bend your knees in that same way, I promise we're not going to do that again. And you're just going to roll onto your right side. So your legs are bent. Your right arm is parallel with the top of the right thigh. And you've got your hands on top of each other. So you're basically going to look like this. Got it? So you're laying on your right side. Take a nice breath. Feel your entire right side of your body finding that connection to the earth. It's almost as if you're melting in. Beautiful. Now from here, can you take, I want you to think of the person that you miss the most right now. That person that if you could see them and hold them and be with them and how it brings you such joy to think about touching that person. How to be close with that person, just sitting next to that person, giving them a hug, or just being in the same space with them. And if they were here and they 
could feel that love that you have for them, how that would make you feel on the inside. I want you to take that feeling, that idea, and I want you to send it all to your left hand, into the fingertips of your left hand. So that love and that compassion and that wanting to be with that person is in the fingertips of your left hand. Then you're going to take your fingertips and you're slowly, maybe you draw a heart or just a swirl in the palm of your right hand. Your fingertips, and with those fingertips, I want you to go along the right side of your wrist, on the inside, soft part of your wrist, and following that along the inner part of your forearm. And when you get to that soft space on the inside of your elbow, just pause. Maybe feel your heartbeat. And then continue bringing your fingertips along your right bicep towards your right shoulder. And then against your, around your right collarbone. And when you get to that hollow in your throat, just firmly press your fingers around the bone. Almost as if you're taking that love that's in your fingertips and sending it right into your chest. And then from here, taking your fingertips across your left collarbone, your left shoulder, and then extend that left arm out with all that extra love that's in the palm of your hand, sending it out, and hopefully that person feels you connecting to them. And then as you're lying here, can you feel your hips softening? Feel your glutes relax. Feel the heaviness of your thigh melting down into the floor. Feel your knees become soft. The muscles in your calf relax. And think of how much effort the little baby toe is doing and maybe send that feeling of absolutely no effort into the right, the entire rest of your body. Just letting it all go. Maybe you have your gaze over your left shoulder. If not, try that. See how that feels on your neck. And if you're already gazing on the left shoulder, can you turn your head just a little bit more and notice any stress that's along your neck? Those muscles along your neck that connect so much more along your shoulders, your chest. Let that go. Now with both arms firmly on the floor, I want you to focus on your core. We're going to lift your knees up towards the sky. Nice and slow. Keep control using that core. And now we're going to lay the knees onto the left side. So coming onto your left side. Again, pay attention to the integrity of your spine. Is From the tailbone to the crown of your head is a nice long straight line. Now from here, stacking those arms over top of each other again. Again, think of that person that you love the most. Maybe they're still on the planet, maybe they're not. And know how, remember how it feels when they love you. When you see them and you know how they feel about you. That they love you, they miss you. They want to sit at the same table with you. They want to be with you as much as you want to be with them. So feel that love in your right hand, in your right fingertips. And take your fingertips and make that small circle in the palm of your hand. And then across your wrist and your forearm. And maybe when you get to that soft space at the center of your elbow, draw a circle there. Maybe draw a heart. And then 
Tracing those fingertips across your bicep to your left shoulder, across your left collarbone, to your throat. And this time when you get to that throat, find that right there at your collarbones, at the center of your chest. And I just want you to tap just a little bit. Say, I am love. And then taking those fingertips across the right collarbone, right shoulder, extend that right arm out and maybe your gaze follows that arm. And whatever extra, hand, extra love you had in your hand, you're sending it out into the world to the people that don't feel loved right now. Relax your shoulders. Soften your abdomen. Feel a warm glow emanating from your heart, coming up your throat, your chin, encircling your whole head. And then bring a softening awareness to the tip of your tongue. And then feel that softening and that warmth as it travels from the tip of the tongue to the middle, all the way to the root. Relax your tongue and the bottom of your jaw. Relax your jaw. Relax your cheeks. Let all the muscles in your face surrender. Imagine your forehead is just smoothing away. Focus on the breath. Be grateful you have this breath and the next and the next. And again, firming your arms into the floor. I want you to slowly, with your core, in the cantilever, bring your knees back up to center. Draw your knees in for a nice, big, juicy hug. And then from here, can you extend your legs out long? Find your Shavasana, your resting place. You deserve this. You work hard, you care, you love, you're compassionate. Close your eyes. Maybe your arms are by your side. Maybe your palms are up. Relax your hips, let them melt to the earth. Let the inner thighs soften and maybe your feet fall out to the side. Focus on your breath, just as we did at the beginning. Paying attention to the inhale and the exhale, the flow of the breath. You are a miraculous creature of life. If you doubt it, call me and I'll tell you all about it, how amazing you are. I can tell you 10 things I love about you. Love you too. Stay in Shavasana as long as you can. I want you to know that I am here. I'm teaching these classes because it's too hard not to. 
I can't have you in this space, but I can feel like I'm spending time with you and I'm giving the greatest gift that I have to share. I hope you feel the love that I have for you and the kindness and the compassion. My challenge for you is in the next few days, call three people every day, send a note, send a text, Facebook, whatever it is. And when you can't think of anybody else, think harder. There's a lot of people out there that are alone and have a space in their life for you to fill. So why not fill it? It's very pleasing to do such a thing. May you all be happy. May you all be at peace. Maybe you all feel loved. Namaste. Thank you.